Um, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer um, in 2007. Um, I was the oldest one out of her two children, so I had a younger sister in elementary school. Um, because of her breast cancer, she lost her job. So I found myself with two um, part-time jobs and also being a full-time student at SF State. Um, we fell back on our rent. We found ourselves in a situation where we had to choose whether to pay pg e the cell phone, buy food, or pay the rent. They gave me the money, made it very easy. Um, one of them actually did get my bank information, but they assured me that nothing was going to be taken out. With that loan, I did default, went two weeks back on it. After that, they did go ahead and withdraw all the money from the bank, which made my bank account go into an overdraft. In assisting clients, I also encountered a few clients, specifically an elder gentleman that I've been working with for the last five years. Even talking to the clients, all he would say is, yes, they gave me $255, which is the maximum, and I had to pay $300 back, which really means that you're paying $45 to get $255 and he did that with four different lenders in a three-year period. Those 250 every two weeks added up to over $12,000 in interest. I've had a very negative experience with payday loans and I'm hoping that people hear my story and they turn around and decide that they don't want to be in that same boat that I've been in. Every month on the third is the day from hell for me is what I call it and that's only just due to the fact that that's the day I get my deposit from Social Security. On that same day I would draw the money from my bank and I go around to each one of the payday loans and pay them, give them a check, pay them, give them a check. I've been taking loans out since April of 2012 and the total amount of the fees roughly comes out to about $6,500. How was, I mean it, it's sort of embarrassing to say this but I didn't buy groceries, you know. I didn't buy groceries for a minute. Um, I ate at my parents' house, and I got into a payment plan for my um, PG&E. That's how I was able to get out of it. But you know, that's that's drastic. You know, when you're trying to take care of a child and and trying to su survive, and you have to pay these loans and and these fees and you just want to get out so that you can get back to what used to be normal. 